video I'm going to show you how to do the most basic sort of linear interpolation. This will be very simple so we can just jump straight into an example and you'll be able to understand everything that's going on just by looking at the example. So the example we're going to do is we're going to find the temperature when the time is 4. So you'll see we've got the temperature at 3 and the temperature at 5 but we don't know what it is at 4. But from this data we can interpolate, I we can find the value. And we're going to do it the full and proper way. You could use a cheap method to do it. Maybe you'll figure that out. But for this example, we're going to do it properly. So this is the formula for linear interpolation. So you assign one set to be 1. So you've got x1 and y1. This is our point 1. And then the point further on, we've got point 2. So this is our y2 and our x2. And you can substitute them in here. This y at the start, this is what you're looking for. So in this we're looking for t, so y is going to be our t value. And our x here, this is where you're looking. We're looking at t equals 4. We're looking to find what y is when x is 4, or in other words, what temperature is at 4 seconds. And very simply, we just substitute all these in. I've already annotated them here for you. So just y1 is going to be 15. Then we've got y2 is 20, y1 is 15 again. Just fill all this in and you get this expression here. Just put that in a calculator and you'll get y is 17.5. And when you're doing these, just to make sure you've substituted things correctly, you can do a common sense check and just look at the trend here. So as t increases, small t, increases the temperature increases so 17.5 seems plausible and 17.5 is between 15 and 20. If you're interpolating between two points linearly you will get an answer that's between two points because it's not going to take account of any non-linearity. Uh, just to see that you've got this principle maybe try two quick examples. So find t at t equals 1.5 so you have to relabel this and use these two points. So if you do that correctly you should get the answer 11.25 and to do another example just so you don't get confused if I change something slightly um, we want to find the time when temperature is 15 so if you just label them backwards so this becomes your y and this becomes your x substitute in the formula as before, obviously, we know from the table that t equals 15 is going to be 3, so you can check your substitution and that you understand the method by doing this question here, and as I said, obviously, the answer is going to be 3. So hopefully, if you've done these two examples here and followed this, you know everything you need to know about very basic linear interpolation. Thank you for watching.